got one down, y'all. Look at that. Peanut got the uh, shimmy drying it off like we always do. Try to keep those water spots to a bare minimum. Welcome to Peanuts Automotive Adventures. That's Peanut, I'm James. Welcome to Peanuts Automotive Adventure. Everyday automotive adventure, y'all. So today, but before we get into today, let's give a first shout out to our official sponsors, the GraphicSpotVA.com. GraphicSpotVA.com right there, where Peanut pointing right there. Uh, anything graphic related, promotional items, engraving, uh, t-shirts, hats, uh, hoodies, um, decals on your vehicles for both business and pleasure business and personal you know what i'm saying reach out to them they can get it done for you man and our next sponsor is innovative powders yeah reach out to innovative powders anything powder coating sarah coating i'm gonna start adding powder coating sarah coating you know they can get it done for you man he's doing magnificent work on rims um atv frames uh motorcycle frames motorcycle wheels um man he could do it all y'all kitchen sinks all of that man he could do it all all right today's video y'all see what we're doing we just out here washing the grand nationals notice i said grand nationals because we got them both pulled out both of them need to be washed one was worse than the other got tired of walking past looking at it so when you get tired of something you got to take action so me and peanut good day not too hot a little bit of humidity but we're going to take action. We're going to wash them, y'all. We got to wash both of them, dry them off, um, put them back where they belong, and throw car covers over them and, you know, be done. But we just want to bring y'all on this journey. Plus, we haven't had, you know, any really Buick-related content. Y'all see the New Edge project back there, Project Blueberry back there poking around. Uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get it done. And I'm going to let y'all see Peanut put this work in a little bit. Uh, of course, I'm going to help him, you know what I'm saying? So don't call don't call the law on me. I always help them with everything, so don't worry about all that. But you know, and then in the process, we're gonna be talking to you guys a little bit, especially when it comes to Buick Turbo Buicks at that. All right, all right, guys. What I use on all my cars is a 3D product. Um, their shampoo, their waxes. Let me see if I can show y'all some. Why, why peanut? Hey, you don't you don't have to pick it up, peanut. Okay. Yeah, you can just leave it right there uh i used to use jack's wax i'm not even gonna lie to you guys uh see i used to have i still got some jack's wax products right here uh did i did i'm gonna use up and i know we got a jack's wax a local jack's wax in virginia beach but i kind of like the 3d products better than jack's wax but that cherry wax is great on uh black vehicles i ain't even gonna lie uh i don't see where um shoot oh there's a 3d product that's empty i'm gonna show it to you right there that three that's a 3d product that i use uh air fragrance air freshener uh that's some more jack's wax stuff hidden behind there here's some 3d metal polish right here that i be using i need to put all this stuff in one location and also um amsoil came out with some uh products for car cleaning a spray ceramic wax uh, what else did they do peanut a, a nice spray hey watch yourself I got to do that roof you couldn't reach it so let me do it real quick it's a nice spray ceramic wax I don't want to get you wet um, that they got out uh, I purchased some car shampoo soap that's pH balanced because as y'all know I got well water we got well water out here so I don't like all that minerals and all that that comes with the well water minimum minimal sulfur in the water but if you don't dry these cars off man you get water spots instantly with well water so hopefully that shampoo is actually um 
neutralizing all those minerals and all that. Man, I gotta wash that. And look at this car, y'all. This one right here is just filthy, y'all. It, it ain't even. Hold on, you want this? You can do that side over there. It ain't even right, y'all. That thing's so filthy, but we're gonna get it right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get this for you. We're gonna get it right. Go ahead. It's really a lot of, um, on that car, I think it's a lot of pollen. It ain't dust, because I only drove it so many times this year. I think only once, to tell you the truth. Let, let Peanut go ahead and wash it. Hey, put in the comments, uh, what products do you guys use on, on your cars when y'all washing them, detailing them, and all that? Especially my car show, guys. You know what I'm saying? I know, I know you guys are all about the product, the pride, and getting your car clean for that next show. And get this back shot right here. I'm sorry if the camera's shaky. I forgot my gimbal in the house. Get that back shot right there. Shout out to these guys right here. Bam. They on both cars. If y'all don't believe me, here we go. Here's the proof. Except for a J Malcolm, I gotta order some more uh, decals from you, man. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Yep, yep, yep. This is what we doing. Look, look at Pino. He getting look, look. He got the wool. You know, that's what we use right there. The microfiber glove on all our cars. Go ahead. Yeah, put in the comments. Y'all got any uh, detailing advice? You know what I'm saying? Any detailing tricks? You know, of the trade that that you guys use. I had a funny story though. I remember being a kid, right? And we used to wash my mom's car and all that just for uh, allowance money. Guess what we used to put inside the bucket to wash the car, Peanut? We used to use dishwashing liquid. Dish soap. That's a no-no. Nope. That's a no-no because really dish soap can strip the paint and strip all the waxes and whatever you, you got in the car. But that's a no-no. But we used to use it, y'all. Mm -hmm. We used to use it on my mom's car and my dad's car, you know, just to make extra money. We didn't know any better. You know what I'm saying? So, let me help him out, y'all. He can't reach that middle. He growing, though. If, if y'all been following the channel, Peanut been growing, y'all. Peanut's about 4'2", 4'3", now. Last summer, you was, what, 4'1"? Yeah, he's been growing a couple of inches over the summer, y'all. Plus, I can tell, too, because you be eating, don't you? He be eating. Oh, what was that? It was something right there. Hold on. Let me get that. You can't reach that. One day, you're going to be able to reach it with ease. I already know. Well, you growing like a weed. You growing like a weed. But this is all we doing today, y'all. I really need to put a sway bar, a rear sway bar on that, which ain't too hard. Yeah. I got a, a Q, QA1 sway bar that needs to go on that car there. But it ain't hard, so I'll probably do it when we, when we come back off of vacation and all that good stuff. So, yep. So Team Run It talked to me. Talk to us. Let us know what y'all be using to uh, to detail your cars in the comments below. Any tips of the trade, all that good stuff. Because I'm still learning this because I'm trying to uh, preserve this paint. I'm not trying to scratch it up, you know, all that good stuff. You know, because um, our painter down in Burlington, North Carolina, he does an amazing job, y'all, when it comes to painting these cars. When it comes to painting anything. He does an amazing job. Shout out to uh, Justin Hill. You know what I'm saying? A, a Hills Aeromotive. Man, he does an amazing job with these cars, y'all. All right, let me let me help Peanut out. I got to put this camera down. You right there. We got one down, y'all. Look at that. Peanut got the uh, shimmy drying it off like we always do. Try to keep those water spots to a bare minimum. Hold on. Let me show you. Real quick, I know. I just taught you. I just taught him this today, y'all. He know how to wash, but he don't know how to use the shimmy. So what you do is just do like that. Don't push on it. Just glide across it like that. It'll make it easier on you. Go ahead, try it. Just make it glide. Don't push on it. There you go. That's all you gotta do. Get right here too, cause right here, y'all. This is my trouble spot. Yeah. This is where the water be dripping, and it, and it leaves like this trail stain right there. Water drop. So yep, you doing it? Just glide across it. That's all you gotta do. You don't gotta push on it. Just glide with it. Doing a good job, doing a good job. I just taught him that technique today. If there's a better technique, leave it in the comments. 
better technique that y'all use when it comes to drying your car. But y'all gonna laugh when I show y'all this. I purchased this, I just can't find the charger. I used to use this, right, see that little blower? I used to use that to dry the cars, but I can't find the charger, the battery charger to it. It's somewhere around here, because I didn't throw it away. And get behind, and here's another trouble spot for us too. Get behind that mirror. That mirror be a trouble spot too, right there. Because sometimes we be forgetting. Yep, make it skinny and just put it back there. There you go. No, no, no. Look, look, look. Like that. Now use now, now use your other hand and pull it. There you go. Just like that. It'll dry it up. It'll dry it up. Yeah, we need help, y'all. Y'all got some detailing help? Let me know. Another trouble spot. Is right here because it pools up with water. So you got to make sure you get it dried. And also there'll be water spots and all type of stuff in, in that turbo emblem right there that I'm always trying to uh, clean up. Yep, you're doing good. Yeah, d whatever you do, don't let that shimmy hit the ground. It'll pick up dirt and then you really scratch the car up. He's doing good, y'all. He's doing good. Oh, just discovered another trouble water spot. See where it's dripping right there, that drip stain right there. You can go ahead and get that. That's about it, y'all. We we getting it together. We getting it together. Make me want to drive it today too. We getting it together. It's a good day for it, team running. Good day for it. All right, team running. We down to one car now. Got GNX 548 complete. Now we down to GNX 549. Y'all see Peanut wiping it down with the, um, not squeegee, with the shimmy to dry it up so we can put it back in the garage. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Today was a good day. Look at me, y'all. I'm drenched. I used to swear up and down. I put the water hose on me, but it had to be done, y'all. No more excuses. You know, it's hot, but not that hot. And these cars been neglected long enough, y'all. Team running, don't beat me up. Don't beat me up too bad in the comments. But uh, they've been neglected a little, a little too long. Luckily, they got a nice coat of wax on them. They come in, the dirt falling right off of them. The dust, whatever you want to call it. Peanut putting that work in. So when Peanut ever asks for the keys to the cars, when he uh, get his license, y'all, I can't deny him, y'all. I can't deny him. I got to hand him over. Look at him. Puts in that work, for real. But hey, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share. Hit that notification bell. Like Peanut said it, hit that notification bell. You know, uh, thank you for all the support. Team Run It. Sorry, I got sweat in my eyes. Thank you for all the support. And uh, thank you to all our subscribers. Thank you to everybody that talks to us when we're out and about. Uh, you know, we just, man, we're very appreciative and humbled. And that's Peanut. I'm James. This is Peanuts Automotive Ventures. We out. Peace. Peace.